Two Blue Fred here, and today we're doing. We're going to show you how to change the pin number on your Harley Davidson bike. If you don't know what your pin number is or what it even does, stay tuned. We're going to tell you about that. All right, let's jump right into it. So, Blue, how long do you think this is going to take us? This is exactly a one beer install. One beer. And he's spilling beer all out greedy. That's what we do. That's <laughs> yeah, what we do. <laughs> We're sitting here on the Zephyr Blue. We're going to show you guys how to change the pin number on your Harley Davidson motorcycle. If you don't know what the pin number is or you don't know what it does, here's just a 15 second on it. Every single Harley Davidson bike, since you know, since the mid 2000s, maybe a little bit before, has a has a pin number. In case you lose your key fob, you can use a pin number to start your bike without the key fob. So if you don't know what it is, you might want to know what it is in case you lose your key fob and you want to start your bike and get it back to the house. In order to figure out what your current pin is and to change it, okay, you have to get the bike into a program mode. In order to do that, starting with your on off switch in the off position, we're gonna go ahead and turn the bike into the on position. We're gonna cycle the on off switch, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna hit our left indicator twice. The bike is gonna say enter pin. Then we're gonna hit our right indicator once. And now it is displaying what our current pin is. Now everybody knows what your pin is. Well, we're gonna change it and we're not gonna tell them what it is, okay? This is the factory pin that was installed from the dealer that I got the bike from. In order to change it, you use your left indicator and as you push it, the numbers will change to whatever number you want. And then you can use your right indicator to move to the next number. And then you can change it with the left indicator then you use the right indicator again to change it. And now we can change it to another number. Now we use the right indicator again. And then again. And now the last number. And now my pin is set to 15244. Four. Four. We can't forget that. 15244. Four. Four. It's not what we're going to leave it at. We're going to change it so you guys really don't know what my pin is, but still. Then we're going to go ahead and hit the, the right indicator one more time. It's going to take us back to the first number. We've changed it. It's now 15244. Four. We're going to go ahead and hit the bike into the off position, which clears the display. Takes us back to our range of 18 miles. Can't go very far on this motorcycle right now. And we're going to turn the bike into the off position. Now that we've set it to 15244, we're going to take the key fob and we're going to throw it away. Okay? So now the key fob is a reasonable distance away from the motorcycle. So now we're going to go ahead and start the bike using the pin number. We're going to go ahead and turn our ignition into the on position. Red light's flashing, it's pissed off, enter pin. We're going to go ahead and get started using the left indicator. We're going to go to one. You see right here on this display, we've got one. We're going to go to the next one. It went to the zero on the next position. And we're going to go ahead and enter with the, the, left, the left indicator switch. We're going to go to five. And now that we have five there, we're going to use the right indicator. Once again, we have a zero. We're going to go to the two using the left indicator. Now we have two. We're going to use the right indicator to go. We have another zero. We're going to go to four. And then we're going to use the right indicator again to get to our last digit. We're going to enter in a four. And now when we have our code entered, we're going to go ahead and hit the right indicator once and the bike is going to start up. So now you've started your motorcycle using your secure pin and everything's good to go. And if we hit the switch, this has been two blue red. We hope you have learned how to hack your motorcycle and start it without your key fob. And as always, freaking ride every day.